In this video, I'm going to demonstrate all of the features and functions of the Great Leaps Records page. First, there's several places that you can access a student's records from. The Manage Students page by clicking the Records button in their row, or from the Students dashboard. If you select that student, then click View Records on the top right. And finally, the View Records button will appear after a Stories timing at the bottom of your page. We often recommend viewing a student's performance with that student to show them in the data how much they've improved. First, I want to point out a number of the features and functions while on the student's records page before we go through each individual chart type. On your left hand side you'll see the list of students. You can filter those students by the instructor that they have worked with or you can search for a specific student. You can also retract and expand your students list changing the size of your charts and your records page. Next on our top bar you can switch between the chart type, switch from reading to math, print or download the records with this print button, and then use the next and previous buttons to simply toggle through your students records. First we'll go over the student performance chart. This is your standard acceleration chart that has been used with Great Leaps since it was created. On top we have our words per minute in blue and on bottom we have our errors made in red. What you should see as a student works through an exercise is their words per minute increasing as their errors decrease until that goal is made in green. Our data points will connect from consecutive attempts on the same exercise. So once a goal is made, you'll see it disconnects. And if there is an interruption of several days between timings, you'll see it disconnect. On our right hand side, we have the donut chart showing how much the student has completed out of the total number of exercises. And on the right side here, you'll see the tabs allowing you to switch between the different sections of Great Leaps Reading from alphabet, phonics, phrases, and of course stories. Below our chart you'll see our raw exercise records. You can sort these by date and by instructor. Some of the most useful features of this are the timestamp seeing the instructor that performed the exercise with that student. And for phonics on the right hand side you'll notice a version number. So we made a significant update to our phonics sections. So you may see a version 1 next to some of the older data. Again goals made are highlighted in green. Next let's take a look at our student summary. Here it'll show the grade level growth in the program that the student has had. That data, if we go back to the raw records, looks at a student's improvement in the stories section of Great Leaps. So you'll see an asterisk next to the exercise that our program deems to be uh, the start of their instructional level based on our set criteria. And what the program will do is compare the grade level difficulty of that story where the student was placed with the story that the student has most recently worked on. Next we have our increase in reading rate. So that's looking at a student's reading speed across those two same story sets and then their average sessions per week as well as total length in the program. Below we can see the number of goals this student has achieved in each section in addition to this wonderful grade level growth chart showing their improvement across their entire 
time in the program. If you hover over these data points as well, it'll give you the grade level difficulty, exercise number, and date that it was completed. And finally, we have our reading progress chart, which we just saw a miniature version of on uh, the student summary. Now on this chart, you can actually select a specific date range to view. So if you want to see that student's performance over nine weeks or over a semester or over the summer, you can simply select the appropriate dates and it will highlight that set of data. This also has the raw records listed below. Data is incredibly powerful and the only way we can truly tell if a student is responding well to this intervention. I want to encourage all of our Great Leaps instructors to use the data with the student to help build their motivation and show them their progress directly. Help them understand exactly how much better they're doing and point out specific areas with this data where they've improved. In another video, I'm going to cover how we can use this data to monitor fidelity and ensure instructors are implementing the program correctly.